This video gives some tips on how to take a proper full-length standing x-ray of the lower limbs. Osteotomies are increasingly carried out for joint preservation in early arthritis. An osteotomy is as good as the planning. And the planning is as good as your x-rays. The most important step in planning is to obtain a proper standing long leg views of both lower limbs. A long 50 inches cassette is used. The patient stands in a way that the patella is facing forwards. The lower limb is internally rotated until the patella is facing forwards. This is the most important step in obtaining the scanogram. The x-ray source is kept at a distance of 10 feet and the amount of exposure should be that used for hip or pelvic x-rays. The next important step is to attach a metallic sphere around the lower thigh, the metal ball should be at the level of the bone anteroposteriorly. This is a 3 cm ball and the size can be calibrated in any software or even on tracing. A sphere always casts a round shadow. A coin or a rectangular objects can rotate and produce shadows of different dimensions in different positions. After the x-ray is taken, the surgeon should study the x-ray if it is taken properly. First and foremost, any pelvic obliquity should be ruled out especially if it is due to a limb shortening. If there is a limb shortening the shorter limb should be raised on planks to correct pelvic obliquity. The patella should be centrally positioned. The lateral border of tibia should cross the fibula at the widest part of fibula. Alternately the tibia should overlap one third of fibula. The distal femur should also have an orthogonal view. This is an example of a well taken scanogram. Thanks for watching.